Ophir with another video. I'm pretty excited about today's gem as it's going to feature some new additions to my arsenal, such as the Boss Dr. Rhythm 660, a vintage drum computer from the 90s that I acquired recently, or the Tascam Porto Studio 424 MK2. <laughs> Uh, that's a mouthful. I stumbled upon this one at a friend's place and he still had it from way back when um, it was broken. I decided to fix it and record today's jam with it. I'm going to give you a complete rundown of today's setup, show you how I routed everything and then we'll get right to the music. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, that helps the channel a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. So, without further ado, let's take a look at today's setup. Okay, so the heart of today's jam is the Polyan Tracker doing all the sequencing, but it's not providing any sounds today. From there, the MIDI signal goes into the 660. I'm using its 808 kit and the iconic snappy bass that it provides. Um, the audio goes straight to the 4-track. The MIDI signal goes into the Shruti, the Shruti is providing the mellow lead that you will hear. From there the MIDI goes to the Microcosm and from there to the Arduino Boy. And this little thing allows me to send MIDI data to my Game Boy via the Game Link cable, which is pretty amazing. The Game Boy is running MGB, a very basic synth, and it provides an 8-bit lead sound, some sustained growly bass notes, and some noisy hits throughout. Game Boy and Shruti are sent to the microcosm for space and delay, and all music in the video comes straight from the tape recording. So, enjoy! <laughs> 